Welcome, dear friends, to our time of scripture reading for Friday, June the 16th, 2023. I'm Brian J. Monroe, pastor of Kitimat First Baptist Church in beautiful Kitimat, British Columbia. Today we will be reading uh, from the first option of readings for the Friday before proper six uh, in proper time in the Revised Common Lectionary readings of the Bible for year A. And uh, so we begin with the Psalm 100. A Psalm for giving thanks. Make a joyful noise to the Lord all the earth. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come into his presence with singing. Know that the Lord, he is God. It is he who made us and we are his. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise. Give thanks to him, bless his name. For the Lord is good. His steadfast love endures forever and his faithfulness to all generations. Our second reading comes from the Old Testament from the book of Exodus, chapter 4, 27 to 31. We read, The Lord said to Aaron, Go into the wilderness to meet Moses. So he went and met him at the mountain of God and kissed him. And Moses told Aaron all the words of the Lord which, with which he had sent him to speak and all the signs that he had commanded him to do. Then Moses and Aaron went and gathered together all the elders of the people of Israel. And Aaron spoke all the words that the Lord had spoken to Moses and did the signs in the sight of the people. And the people believed. And when they heard that the Lord had visited the people of Israel and that he had seen their affliction, they bowed their heads and worshiped. Our final reading for today is from the New Testament from the book of the Acts of the Apostles. We read from chapter seven, verses 35 to 43. This Moses, whom they rejected, saying, Who made you a ruler and a judge? This man God sent as both ruler and redeemer by the hand of the angel who appeared to him in the bush. This man led them out, performing wonders and signs in Egypt and at the Red Sea and in the wilderness for 40 years. This is the Moses who said to the Israelites, God will raise up for you a prophet like me from your brothers. This is the one who was in the congregation in the wilderness with the angel who spoke to him at Mount Sinai and with our fathers. He received living oracles to give to us. Our fathers refused to obey him, but thrust him aside. And in their hearts they turned to Egypt, saying to Aaron, Make for us gods who will go before us. As for this Moses who led us from out of the land of Egypt, we do not know what has become of him. And they made a calf in those days and offered a sacrifice to the idol and were rejoicing in the works of their hands. But God turned away and gave him over, gave them over to worship the host of heaven, as it is written in the book of the prophets. Did you bring to me slain beasts and sacrifices during the forty years in the wilderness, O house of Israel? You took up the tent of Moloch and the star of your god Rephan, the images that you made to worship, and I will send you into exile beyond Babylon. This is your eternal word, Almighty Father God. By the power of your Holy Spirit, may it reside in our minds, our hearts, and our very souls, and cause us to understand it better, Lord, so that it can work in us what is good and pleasing to your will. We pray this to your glory in the name of your Son, Christ. 
our Lord, our Savior, our soon returning King. As always, friends, I thank you so much for spending a few moments listening to scripture. Uh, it is always a good thing. I've recorded the references to the passages I have read and the references to the alternate passages for today that you might read them again for yourself, ponder them, and allow the truth of God to work from them into you to the glory of God. Until we can be together again to hear the scriptures for that day, being, I pray, tomorrow, I bid you go in the peace of the Lord.